you know, it will be it will be cursory, you know, just an overview of what's going on. They're gonna have time to study like, 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 like we've had whole lifetimes to study. Yeah. Okay, now not all of us took the whole life. Okay. You're not gonna believe them. you know how they're gonna convince them. They'll have yeah. to have they, churches and teach them. You know, God will be doing it, you know, through the two witnesses and the 144,000. Okay, they're the ones that are sealed. What is a seal? Who, who yeah. does the sealing? The angels. Jesus. God. Holy Spirit. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. There you go. There you go. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right, that right, was. You guys have not had enough of this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guess already. Right. 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 It will be like it is it's Daniel's right. 70th week. They're back under the law. So only certain people have the Holy Spirit and you're to follow them. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> Verse 22. <clears throat> you that say a man should not uh, commit adultery. Do, do you not commit adultery? Uh, they're still pleasuring themselves. Um, you that uh, abhor idols, uh, do you not commit uh, sacrilege? Uh, you that uh, uh, make uh, you're, you make yourself boast of, of the law, uh, you break the law uh, dishonest. Break, break the law, uh, yeah, dishonest. And thou, you dishonor God. You, you dishonor God. Okay, I'm trying to update the words. I probably should. There, there's too many yeah, these and thou's. The way they're written in our Bible. Please. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The these and thou's. Thou that makest the boast of the law, thou breakest the law, dishonoring uh, thou God. You know, each of you dishonor God. Don't you dishonor God? He's so he's challenging them with their sins, the things that they're still that they're following, that they're still doing. Um, see, man, God gave the law to show man that he could not keep the law. Because we have sin nature from Adam, and that's why he had to send a Savior in Jesus. So he, sh the, you know, this is a process of showing them why they need a Savior. You're still doing the same sins. Mm -hmm. You know, you still have the same still sin nature. Mm -hmm. Commentary. <clears throat> there is a, a touch of sarcasm in Paul's questions. Now, did you catch the sarcasm yes. in, in all the questions? Yes. You know, you're doing the same thing. Uh, thou therefore, which uh, teachest another, uh, teachest thou not yourselves? You know, are you know, just because? <laughs> You are teaching somebody. Are you teaching the law, or are you really teaching, um, you know, the age of grace? You know, they really didn't. You know, they didn't. They didn't know the stuff. They need to continue to be taught. All of us still need to be continue to be taught. Okay. You know, the deeper you get in the Bible, the more you realize that, uh, that there's still a lot of questions that have to be answered. Okay. Uh, you know, and I can. You know, you know, I, you know, I'm supposed to be deeper than you guys, and I'm still seeing them. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the con and the questions I have, the commentary can't answer. <laughs> It doesn't answer, all right. Uh, the commentary is, is is for is for the level that you guys are at uh, for for the most part. Um, well, you know, with with uh, you know with a lot of places where some of you are are beyond now. Um, the Jews were uh, prepared to uh, teach the heathen Gentiles uh, the commandments of the law, but uh, were uh, themselves uh, breaking these commandments. Dost thou steal? The eighth commandment. Uh, Dost thou commit adultery? The seventh commandment. Dost thou commit sacrilege? Uh, literally, uh, do you rob uh, temples? Uh, the second commandment. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, well, the second commandment is, is, is idolatry. Uh, the Jews were uh, ready to uh, preach uh, morality, uh, but their uh, lives uh, uh, did not uh, uh, back up their message. They were stealing from one another. Uh, Perhaps by uh, collecting an, uh, an extreme interest, uh, Bible calls that usury. Okay, uh, part of uh, part of Islam is they don't have to pay interest. They will come and ask you for money, but uh, you know I'm not paying interest. How dare you? We're better than you. Um, they were uh, committing adultery. They were profane in the house, prof profaning the house of God by uh, commercialism. Uh, didn't Jesus turn over the tables? Yeah. You know, he started his ministry by turning over the tables mm -hmm. to let him know he was there. <laughs> and he ended his ministry to, you know, turn over the tables. You know, he did it twice. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, thus Paul uh, asked the uh, bitter questions. Uh, thou that makest uh, the, the uh, boast of the law, thou breakest the, the law, uh, dishonors thou God. Uh, transgression of the law brings uh, dishonest, dishonor to God. Uh, Every time we do something wrong, it brings dishonor to God. Hopefully, we're not doing it in front of other people, okay? Uh, because we uh, uh, we dishonor God in public, and 
that's a sure a whole lot worse than doing it in private. Uh, because then, then uh, when the ungodly see it, they think they can get away with it. Or if you're a strong Christian and you got another, you know, uh, you got a weaker Christian, you know, that's the uh, the plank, you know, the plank in your eye and the speck in their eye, you know, really understanding the sin, uh, you know, the plank is bigger because you know <laughs> you understand it better. Uh, that uh, uh, we dishonor we dishonor God with that. Go ahead, question. I've used, you, you. Oh yeah, uh, which verse is it that says that um, if you want if you're thinking about doing something. If it would cause somebody yeah, else that's to what stumble, I just about. yeah, uh, I don't remember where it is. As I said, I did too much, so much of the Old Testament, so much of the, the, the you know, for so long on the end time prophecy thing that I forgot a bunch of verses. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, grab, you, grab your comment, grab your uh, you know, uh, Strong's concordance, and uh, uh, look up, look up uh, stumble, look up stumble, and you and you'll find it. Okay. And it's a word that is. But that's a little wrong. That's yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The word stumble is used in that passage. Yeah. And uh, it's in the Gospels, uh, so you have to only have to look at oh, Matthew, Mark, okay. and John. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, the Jews uh, claim to have known the law, but uh, were silent in, uh, cl in claims to uh, have uh, kept it. <clears throat> Verse twenty-four: For the name of God is is blasphemed among the Gentiles, uh, though you, as it is written, uh, everybody, everybody is still committing. Everybody's still a sinner. We don't get rid of it. I told you, you know, at one point in time there was a sin that I was you know, tempted with uh, you know, a lot of times and I was tired of it. <laughs> Couldn't do anything, you know, having trouble doing something about it. I said, God, can't you, can't you take away uh, you know, my sin nature? You know, I'm already a sinner. I already need a Savior. <laughs> and uh, when, the, you know, the, when the Holy Spirit speaks to me, uh, he, uh, he, he, he gives me rhetorical questions. You know, at the time he was you know, giving me rhetorical questions. And uh, as, as an answer, and he said, uh, and the answer that came back to me was, uh, what was the first sin? <laughs> pride. pride. If he took away my sin nature, pride would enter in. So God keeps us humble and looking to him and keep relying on him because we still have a sin nature. Mm -hmm. Yes. Question. Then what did he mean when he said to Paul, my grace is sufficient? What does well, that mean? Well, <clears throat> uh, Paul had... Paul had what he called a, uh, a thorn in the side. Yeah. We we don't know exactly what that was. Uh, you know, some people say it was a heckler that uh, uh, followed him around everywhere he went. I, I, I kind of throw that out. He also had very bad eyesight, and, I, and you, the, the high probability that's what we believe that okay. you know. That's what I believe that that it was. That he, you know, he he had he had to look at writing which with with, with, a, with a John Hancock type uh, lettering, you know, the, well, you know, the is, big letters. Well, uh, what is God's grace? That it's yeah, it, 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 it still it still covers it still covers his problems. God's grace covers all of our problems. So all of, okay. Having God's grace in you, we you have can peace, overcome anything. Have, have peace over it. Don't worry about it. Uh, Pastor Brett, do you have any other ideas on what the storm side it's might have been? Recent. I've always heard it was the eyesight. Yes. <coughs> oh, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm wanting to know what the grace of God was. Well, we're describing, yes, okay, that he didn't need to worry about his eyesight being bad. Okay. They didn't. God they, would didn't, they didn't have these back then. Yeah, I know that. Okay, they didn't have spectacles back then. They were just spectacles of each other. Yeah. Oh, we got it. And I'm, still, I, I'm still I, trying. I, I was trying God's to say. Spectacles. Yes. And maybe it's eyesight, A-Y-E. No. The. A-Y-E. A-Y-E. Yeah. I believe in you. I believe in me. Yeah, so he, you know, yeah. he had a problem that he wanted yeah. to get rid of, and it was troubling him. So he, he referred to it as a thorn in his side. Yeah. Okay? Um, and, he, and, and God basically was saying, don't worry about it. I'll okay? give you the power. You'll be able to He read, can still do he, you know, he might yeah, so having, like that having, that same having poor eyesight, you know, just, just a thought, side thought here. Maybe he thought he was going blind and that he would lose his eyesight. Before he was done serving God, and God said, "Don't worry about it." I'm so if we can get this same great God's grace, which is sufficient, we should not fear anything—sickness, 
going here. Well, going we here. should not. Well, you know, uh, you know, I I know that I have better help than I deserve because I'm serving God. Okay, but uh, we still need to watch out with the things we do. We should not be tempting the Lord our God to protect us. We should not. You know, we should not. Mm. We should not be doing things we shouldn't do. If okay, you feel I think the we Holy get away. Spirit leading you, though. Well, well, hopefully, yes. If the Holy Spirit's leading you and you're following, you're going to be doing the right things. But we still have a sin nature and we still have temptation. Okay, we you know we're so each you of have us to kind of evaluate it. Well, of course we have to evaluate. Okay. If it goes by the Bible, then go ahead and do it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we we all we all have things that we shouldn't be doing. You know, we all still have a sin nature, and we are you know we do things to violate our bodies. Um, we feel bad. We feel bad. Uh, what? We feel bad. Yeah. What we see. Um. Time's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah, finish the. Yeah. Uh, we'll finish. We'll finish the thought. Um. We we all we all have uh, um, we all have our own set of sin nature things where, where Satan can get at us, tries to get at us. He can't read our minds. The demons can't read our minds. But they can observe what we do and then tempt us with those things. That's where the millennial kingdom is going to be a whole lot better than it is today because Satan's demons will be bound and you won't have, they will, the people living during that time we, that made it through the, the tribulation period will not be uh, having that constant temptation that we have today. Amen. So you could say then, uh, when God said, my <clears throat> grace is sufficient, he was saying, my Holy Spirit is sufficient. Well, yeah, well, grace comes from Jesus. It's, grace, is, grace, is, grace is the covering that we have to, to cover our sins. So that when God the Father looks, looks at us, he's looking through Jesus first. Okay? Because we're relying on Jesus. Okay. Okay, you know, the symbolism is... Jesus is on the right hand of God, and we're on the right hand of Jesus. So to see us, He's got He looks through Jesus, and that covers our sin, okay, and gives us a peace that surpasses our understanding. If people don't have peace that surpasses our understanding, then you need to, you know, need to try to try to find out what's what's really going on, and because uh, uh, they may not be saved, or they're going through something that uh, uh, maybe they're doing things they shouldn't be doing. God is chastising them. You know, you, you know, you need to go through a you know series of whatever. And I know somebody that's. It's going through some of that stuff right now, yeah. and doesn't want to doesn't want to recognize it. Because if oh, a Christian, Satan, Satan is attacking me. Yeah. I said, but you know about Job because you've been reading Job. Because I <laughs> and, think uh, it's Christian. You know, and, 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 you know Job, Job was Job was tested. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, but nothing. You know, the point I was making was nothing occurs without God's permission. And if nothing occurs without God's permission, Satan could, could God could be allowing Satan to sift. Each of us, when we do something wrong, when we're doing things wrong that we shouldn't be doing, to correct us, but he can use anything, and he'll use the demons just as well as he will his yeah. own stuff. But he doesn't have to use a demon. No, he doesn't have to. I said he can use it just as well as anything else. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Verse you. 24 next week. Thank you. <laughs>